Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nyabera, I'm a content creator based in Nairobi, Kenya and I do content around cooking, cleaning, motherhood and homemaking. If this is the kind of content you love, kindly stick around, watch till the end and please don't skip the ads because that is where we get our little pay. So guys, in today's video I'm actually going to deep clean my kitchen space and do some few changes and i hope you get motivated to clean your spaces too please like this video share it out and leave a comment first of all let me start by saying i'm in the bathroom sorry for the background echo if you can hear it from your end because this is my favorite spot and number two if you see me in a cave just know that i've not yet done my hair i've been up and about because my sons have been sick and i've been in hospital in and out day in day out so i've not yet got the chance to visit the saloon the salon so yes let's get started guys this is the current state of the kitchen there is a whole lot of mess everywhere i want to clean it thoroughly 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 and also do some few changes if I will manage and yes uh, I have some huge load of laundry that I need to tackle first before I get into the kitchen There are some dirty utensils too that I need to clean. So let's tackle the laundry first. I had pre soaked all the dirty clothes the previous night because I realized some of my son's clothes were too dirty that needed proper wash. And of course, I had sorted them accordingly. So I was just loading the first load, of course, which was my son's clothes. Then the second load was our clothes. I've never had anyone complete the words I say. You told me the one you're with can make you feel this way. to the next thing i came to the kitchen and started by cleaning this part which is my favorite part in this kitchen of course because i love everything that is in this section so i was just trying to transfer some eggs from the old tray to this new one and of course started by cleaning the the, the three tire stand then the whole area i also wiped my fridge even though it was not so dirty, but I had to because why not?
so many people have been inquiring about the wine glass holder i got it from kamkunji very long time ago before i even started content creating so i cannot remember the exact shop but if one day i will remember and maybe go back to kamkunji and get the seller's contacts i will surely plug you i've never had anyone please don't mind about my voice i know i'm sounding so low the reason is because my two sons are not feeling so well um the elder one is very sick and the younger one has been very sick but he's picking up and i've been in hospital from about 5 p.m up to 3 a.m so as i'm doing this voiceover i'm extremely worn out i'm so so tired but because i have a video that is supposed to go up tomorrow i have no other option but do it i'm now coming to terms that motherhood is not a bed of roses no matter who you are no matter your career no matter your class no matter anything motherhood in a way or another is just overwhelming so please let's be kind to all mothers because we go through a lot raising kids or raising a kid is not so easy and I just want to congratulate all the single mothers, all the single parents out here. Single mothers, single fathers. May God grant you the grace to to raise up your kids. Because well, this journey is not easy, dears. So let's normalize being grateful, grateful for the gift of life. Because people out here are suffering. Have you ever gone to the hospital and at some point feel like you are not even so sick? Because you come across someone's child, someone's mother, someone, just anyone. People are sick out here. Let's be grateful for the gift of life. Say what you want to say to me now. And to those of us who are struggling with cockroaches in the kitchen, one thing I've learned is that if you want to get rid of all the cockroaches in your house or maybe in the kitchen or anywhere they are, uh, normalize spraying your surfaces with vinegar mix. Just take some good amount of vinegar, mix it with water, and once you're done cleaning, you spray it on surfaces. Trust me, you, you'll never come across any cockroach. Searching for a longer day. People feeling like the 
this is my under the sink storage cabinet and i want to do some few changes i actually want to swap some things um i think just stick around and see how it went about this is the other side of the cabinet and as you can see this way i've put all my my foods like foods in the containers my cooking pots that the, they're on this side but i want to shift them to the other side so let's see how everything turned out after after the cleaning At some point I had to sit down as you can see so that I could work properly because I realized bending I was kind of straining. Also if you see clearly in this video, in this picture, um, if you want to keep your nonstick sulfurous away from scratches, you use some um, paper towel across the leads or on the lid so that they cannot scratch each other for me this is what i've been doing with mine but i'm just done with them i realized they were not making my cabinet or should i say pantry look good so i actually removed them but if you want to keep your non-stick sufferers away from scratches that's how you do it This is how the upper part turned out after arranging and personally I'm in love. I think it looks far much better than before. This is the other side. Uh, I've also arranged it and as you can see clearly they are looking far much better than before. So I'm in love. I'm in love with the new look. Something's gonna bring the change. Journey's way I'm meant to take. This is the other side and I I want to transfer all the food containers from the other side to this part and arrange them so that all the foods can be easily accessed compared to the other side. So let's see how the turnout of this place was. After so many attempts, this is how the turnout was. I think it also looks far much better. Uh, everything is just under this sink area and maybe from your end it looks bad, but trust me, it looks better. Kindly comment down below and tell me what you think. Do you think it's fine or maybe I should change or maybe go back to the previous setup? This is how the under the sink looks like and honestly it is just perfect. To me it is just perfect. So many things are not cluttered like I've just reduced them. My phone went off at some point in the process of shooting so I had to charge it and in that note I washed all the utensils off camera and arranged all of them off camera. Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way yeah. Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start
I will have to change the kitchen towel, the kitchen mats because these ones are so dirty. So I will change them to clean ones. But unfortunately, I forgot to do so in this video. So I also did it off camera. This is the final outlook of the kitchen after a very deep clean. Um, here is where I keep my washing detergents and my liquid cleaners, if you can see. My foil and film, film over there. These are the dirty towels that I've just used. I will wash them off camera. Everything is super, super, super clean. This is how, this is how the under the sink looks like. Everything is so clean. Like, I'm in love. This is the other side of the sink. I changed this spice jar, like everything that was on top apart from the spice jars was down. These ones, they were up but nimezileta chini and the other spices that are not yet put in the spice jars, they were all down. But Zimeru, did you? How do you think, guys? How do they look like? I feel it's far much better than before. From my end, I don't know how about you. Everything is just clean. And by the way, guys, if you've realized, my kitchen theme is black and silver. My fridge is silver. My microwave, like, it's just a combination of black and silver, black and silver, black and silver. My cooker is black and silver. Yeah, so I think I'm in love. Just a repetition. This is how... The other side looks like this is where I put my sufurias. They, they were under the sink, but I felt they were not looking so good from the other side. So I decided to change. Kindly comment down below and tell me how, how you think 
everything looks like do you love it or should i go back to the previous setup from this end this is my for tire rack this is the 6 kg gasilira that we normally use whenever the other one is off my seat over there the one we normally use maybe when feeding the baby and just anything yeah someone had inquired about this washing machine cover uh it actually came with the machine i didn't buy it myself it came with the machine so yeah it actually came with the machine so guys that is it please like this video share it out and leave a comment until next time see you bye